A look at the new front in keeping you safe. We're talking about the Internet. More and more of us uh, do what we do on baseline, and cloud computing is becoming more and more the norm. Okay, then, just how safe is all your information? Like when you send it to Live on Google or Apple servers instead of your own computers. We're going to help you out tonight. Lots of good information. Stacy Delicat begins our look at cyber security. Hello, North Korea! 2014 saw the hack of Sony Pictures that stopped a major movie release in its tracks and leaked years' worth of emails and reams of employees' personal information. Celebrities like Jennifer Lawrence became victims of a big iCloud hack, and millions of consumers learned their credit card information may have been compromised just by shopping at a long list of stores. Cyber is probably our biggest issue that we face in law enforcement um, right now. You know, terrorism is always there, but cyber crimes go hand in hand with terrorism. George Venizelos is the assistant director in charge of New York's FBI office and says there's no expectation cyber criminals will slow down anytime soon. Do you think we're going to see another big hack like the Sony hack this year? Uh, I'm sure we are. I think we're going to see a, a hacks, but, um, but I think every hack we should get stronger in, in fighting these hacks. Fighting hacks and preventing them is the focus of the International Cybersecurity Conference, organized by the FBI and Fordham University, going on near Lincoln Center this week. These threats are, are very sophisticated attacks, so the defenses have to be very sophisticated. Tom Patterson, the general manager for cybersecurity consulting with tech company CSC, says while high-profile hacks will continue, this year companies will be more prepared to respond. The incident response is being taken seriously now, and a lot more are coming. And the difference is now that it's not coming from the IT department, it's coming from the boardrooms. When it comes to protecting our individual information online, Patterson says there are a few things we can all do. And yes, one of them is changing our passwords. He suggests switching them up every few months and using unique three-word phrases. In the case of the iCloud hack, Apple said cyber criminals got in just by guessing the celebs' passwords. Add another layer of protection for the cloud and all of your online accounts by activating two-step authentication. That means whenever you or someone else tries to log on an account from a new device, you'll get a text or call with a unique code needed to get in. And as the new session of Congress gets underway in Washington this week, many are calling on lawmakers to take action and pass legislation that would help both public and private entities better prevent and protect themselves against future cyber attacks. On the West Side, I'm Stacey Delicat.